Welcome, it's Wayne D'Souza here, digital marketer and web development expert. Today we're going to talk about what you need to be looking for when you create your website. What are some critical aspects of your website in 2021 that you need to keep your eye out for? The most important thing you need to look for is what is the process to your website? Now there are approximately five to ten key processes to your website, but today we're going to talk about the five things. When you work with designing a website, you need to look at you know, phase, a phase by phase approach. The first thing you need to do is understand that you need to plan out what your website should do for yourself and your business. Okay. This, this involves looking at competitor analysis, their strengths and weaknesses. Quite critical, very important. Once you've identified your website, you've got a competitor in mind. You've got, you understand what the industry is doing. The next step is the design of the website. So at this stage, it's important to know who you're working with what their previous skills are, what their experiences, all right? After you've designed, after you've worked out the designer, the next phase is to identify whether you're gonna have a custom website or you're gonna do take a template and then modify that template to fit your business. Very important, okay? So that's essentially the look and feel of your website. The functionality of your website is designed at that time. So that's phase number two. The third phase, as you can see, is that now handing it off to the development team. This is very critical. The person that does your website needs to have the right skill, the right experience, and more importantly, it needs to be project managed in a manner that you can understand as a customer what is going on at different stages. It can get quite technical, so it's fairly important that a project manager or a developer is able to take that technical information and relay that back to you in a simple, easy to understand fashion. Often development can be quite complex, from WordPress to Magento, to Shopify, to to various other platforms out there. We personally recommend a highly powerful WordPress platform that can be future-proof for a long time. Once you've done your development, that's underway. You'll go through various iterations, you know, until you reach your final sort of progress. The next step is launching your website, going live with it. Now at this stage, all the hard work's kind of done. It's all about going live, letting the world know about your website. If you have marketing at that stage, that's probably a great way to begin doing that because a website without people coming on it, you know, it's not much of a website if nobody sees it. Once your website is live, the last phase, which is an ongoing phase, is the maintenance of your website. Very important. Luckily, our servers are all on Amazon Cloud, also hosted locally here in Australia. So it's about that credibility and authority and reliability. That's very important. At this stage, you might be a DIYer and you might be able to update plugins yourself, but it's critical to one, make sure that your your plugins are update, updated in a sequential fashion. Two, also to ensure that your website requires continuous monitoring for security breaches and whatsoever. So important that, believe it or not, small websites, small businesses also get looked at. So important to make sure it's protected, right? The most other critical thing is to back up your website regularly. This is all part of the maintenance phase. Luckily, there are opportunities to do this quite well at a very reasonable price to back up your website. So tomorrow, if something happens, God forbid, and it unfortunately does happen, you have a backup of your website and you're not redeveloping the website from scratch. This is a critical feature from a maintenance point of view. So there you have it. There's five quick ways of actually working out a process on on going forward to your website. Again, I repeat, right from the start, you plan, you design. Once you plan and design, you go into development. Then it's really about launching it live and maintaining it and looking after it because then that is then your salesman, your brand ambassador, and also more importantly, your money-making machine if it's e-commerce, right? So. Keep in mind that's very important. The next thing I'd like to do is have a look very quickly at some critical features when you have your website up and running, okay? Here's an example of a fantastic design of a website called Agata Lips. It's an e-commerce website. E-commerce is all the rage nowadays, so it's very important. So what's what's good when you look at this site immediately, you can see a nice clear call to action right there. It says shop now. So it's encouraging users to go straight into shopping mode, okay? A little bit of what Agata Lips is. It's obviously a beauty and fashion label. The next thing you need to look down the bottom here, pops up nice and easy, asking you to message them, right? So you can see that very quickly that they've got absolute, you know, Facebook messaging happening there because sometimes users have support or questions that they might ask on the spot. So it's important that you are available right there to help them make that purchase decision. You can see that this is not very cluttered, but more importantly, 
it is nice and focused on the call to action which is important by the way. Now, the next best thing is more than 50% of users are on their mobile phone. So important to note, you look at this side, let's test it out for a minute. You'll quickly find out that this website is nice and mobile friendly. As you can see, it's starting to optimize. The good part about having that is this is how it will look on your mobile phone. Now, as you scroll, it is quite nice and you know, your thumb or your finger is fitting nicely to click those buttons because some people have fat fingers and you know having those buttons at a nice size is very critical as you can see the range is quite nice here the most critical part for e-commerce is having fantastic little imagery of your products more importantly the background needs to match you can see there's a black background generally this website has a black theme flowing through it so it matches content makes or breaks all right secondly if you start looking at this you can see there's different subcategories so this is a fashion brand it actually has and well done about our stores it has literally got a vertical and a page dedicated to each subcategory within their range this is because there's two things if i look at hair care for a minute i'll expand this back to desktop view what this does is allows google to recognize exactly what you're selling google needs to understand what's happening why does google need to understand because most of your users generally end up coming from either social media or google right if you want a plumber let's say you need uh i don't know looking to buy some anniversary gifts want some ideas you know in this case do you, do you want some volume conditioner clearly i can't use it but you will go to google if Google does not know your website, does not know what you're selling, it cannot show that to the relevant person. So very important that your website is structured to have your subcategories and then under those pages, you've got different layers of content all to talk to Google. When your web developer talks to you about this, he might not be looking at it or she might not be looking at it from a sales and marketing point of view, but now is your time to actually get this website up and running so that it is set up for success. So we always believe if you're doing it now, you do it right, okay? So that's it. So essentially you can see there's various verticals. I'll skip to another site that I do like, you know, and, and what I like about this is again, this is a mountain bike website. You can clearly see that, you know, it's beautiful. It's actually encount encountering the emotions of mountain biking, which is a very raw adrenaline based red warm, tone that is actually flowing through the site and you can see that that sort of starts to flow through you know obviously the important part here is again clear call to actions all right clear call to actions see the bikes what happens when you see the bikes you know you straight into their catalog you can start seeing bikes all right you jump in there you have a look very easy it's not distracting people okay you can see this beautiful imagery content as i said makes or breaks so beautiful picture attractive picture i want that bike Fantastic, let's read a bit more. Here we go. This is exactly what we need from a website point of view to start telling Google, hey, I've got this product on my website. You have some information, start reading it. Okay, now the other thing you'll quickly see if I draw your attention at the top corner, there's a lock down there. Now this applies to everybody, big or small, okay? You will need that security button to give you a chance to be certified by Google Core Vitals, okay? so. Ensure that whenever you get someone doing your website, it's got a security certificate. All right, should come standard, should come really standard. Most users will not put in a payment card or payment detail if they get a pop-up from your browser saying, hey, and you've encountered this too. Hey, this website does not have certification or whatever. You know, it's quite scary. So ensure your website has this and we provide this uh, essentially stock standard, no extra cost as part of your website development. All right, let's click to another website. Very classical Crown Melbourne, fantastic website. Look, this is a huge website, okay? And Crown have done a fantastic job here. They've even, this will apply to a lot of the trades people and also people within the accommodation space. Your website needs to have the appropriate tools to be able to conduct business, okay? So in this case, they've got a lovely drop down. you know, uh, quickly asking you to book, whether it's Crown Towers or Crown Metropole Melbourne, you've got the opportunity to book right there. Clearly encompassing some good content. Again, content, remember that. Great content can make or break your website. And often that, re that responsibility lies with the business owner to ensure they've got great content. You can see these pictures, but a little bit of a refresh, they're a little bit old. Anyways, 
Long story short, they've also got videos. Now videos are powerful if you've got the opportunity opportunity to have videos, very, very powerful, okay? Videos give you higher ranking on Google. Videos engage customers. Videos are videos, videos sell. So important from a branding point of view, if you're trying to drive call to action, super critical, all right? That's some, some key things you need to be looking at. Now, this is all on the surface. What's behind the surface is things like, where is your website hosted? We often offer hosting that's actually within Australia. So it's quicker for your website to load. Google likes it. Your customers will like it. And that means you should technically like it as well. All right. The most important thing is that loading time is happening because it's local and it's on Amazon cloud technology. So it's an industry benchmark when it comes to loading websites. Okay. The next thing is how much content have you got on there? Okay. Have you got the right content? Is it going to convert is your website going to convert or do you just want a website for website sake? You can have both. It's up to you. The other thing you don't see here, which is, unless you're a trained eye, you won't see is, is this website structured properly? And you look at Crown because they are definitely are one of the leaders when it comes to websites. If I look at their menu, you can see that they've got a really well structured website. Why? Google loves it. Your customers will love it. More importantly, your competitors will hate it. So ensuring that you've got the right structure, the right content sitting under each page. Remember subcategories, right? Having that structure is fantastic. That's going to help you get better ranking. That's going to get you help, better customer experience, and more importantly, get you above your competition. So when a website developer tells you what to do, ensure you're looking for these core things that, that test whether they're actually looking at building a website for now or building a website for the next two years because websites is, is an evolving space. So having someone that's looking out in the future that you make sure that that investment is future proof to a certain extent will save you a lot of money down the track. Okay. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this super helpful and insightful and gives you the power to make informed decisions. Like anything, if you need to reach out to me, you can send me a message or follow me on any of our socials down below. And thank you very much for your time. Thank <laughs> you.